welcome back. Social media is developing a prominent role for itself in the region, and 75% of the UAE's population now uses social media sites. Facebook and Twitter have gained prominence as both social and business tools, but the LinkedIn platform has been designed especially for businesses. So how has the concept fared compared to the other platforms in the region, and how important is social insurance? Well, today we're joined by Rick Itzkovich, international speaker and LinkedIn expert. Welcome to the show today. It's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Delighted to be here. Excellent. Now, face-to-face -face networking here, especially in the region, is an integral part of any business. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the importance of social networking um, for, for business growth, really. Sure. Well, you know, as uh, m my partners here in Dubai, Right Selection, brought me here to do a workshop specifically on the integration of uh, online and face-to-face -face networking. And I call it uh, networking in the 21st century, because uh, if you're only doing one and not the other one, you're really missing out. So it's the integration between the two, the convergence between online and, social and offline networking that really works. Excellent. So in terms of the region, the UAE, the LinkedIn concept, I mean, how has it sort of taken in, in, within this region? How many people have you got on board here? Well, I can tell you that I was here uh, three months ago in June for a conference, and the, there's been a significant jump in the usage since I was last here. And I measure that by the number of connections that I get on a daily basis from people and a number of people that I know who tell me that all the connections have increased. So it is gaining rapidly in the region, I can tell you that. So, so why do you think that is? Is there a sort of driver behind it, do you think? Well, people are finally waking up to the potential behind LinkedIn. You see, you mentioned Twitter, you mentioned uh, Facebook. LinkedIn is like the ugly stepsister of the ones. As most people have heard about it, people have profiles, but hardly anybody knows how to use it. And when they, people wake up to the power behind that, they go, oh my God, I had no idea that you could do such and such thing. It's more designed towards businesses rather than, you know, a play around sort of social... It is exclusively designed for business. In fact, a lot of people who embrace uh, Facebook because it's so much fun hate LinkedIn because it's so boring. So, yes, it's boring, especially when you're making a lot of money. I'm okay with being bored that way. Exactly. Yes. Um, now, you're an expert in merging the online with the offline. Tell me about that and how is it sort of beneficial to businesses as well? Well, uh, it starts out, let's say that uh, you meet somebody offline when you first network with them at an event. Well, you can now take that relationship and go online because you can find out all kinds of things about them, what you have in common, the people that you know that you have in common, and build that relationship. But then you can do the same online and bring it offline. So let's say that you wanted to connect with somebody at a particular company. You can go on LinkedIn, search their profile, and find out what schools they went to, uh, their interests, and by the time you meet them for the first time, you already feel like you know something about them and you can establish a rapport much more quickly. So it's building that relationship, isn't it? It is. It? It's all about relationships. So in terms of second degree, um, secondary con uh, connections, tell me about the importance of that. Yes, well, uh, LinkedIn works on the basis of three degrees of separation, so to speak, and that is you have your first degree connections, which are the people you're connected with, then you have those connections, and then you have those connections connections. Well, the second degree connections are, if you and I are connected, is all your connections. Now, why it works is because you don't know who all the people that you know know. Let me say that again, because it's a little bit. You don't know who all the people that you know know. So, for instance, you may know some people that I want to be connected to, but I don't know that you know them. Well, LinkedIn does, because it's a database. So, uh, I have found, in fact, my wife, you know, knew somebody that I was getting, wanting to get in touch with that I had no idea she knew that. I only found out by accident. And when I asked her, how come you didn't tell me? She says, well, you never asked. Oh, my goodness. Yes, yeah, yeah, so that's the power of the second degree connections. It's not who you know, but the people that you know that you could possibly introduce me and vice versa. And social insurance, I've heard um, this, this term sort of come up again and again. Tell us a little bit about that as well. Uh, well, it's the idea that in this day and age, things are changing so rapidly that even if you are very happy and very secure in your position, well, uh, if anything has taught us is that things can change overnight. Entire industries can disappear, entire companies can disappear. So by actually networking before you need it, what you're creating is a form of insurance for yourself so that if something were to happen, you were forced to move or your position was eliminated, you now can go ahead and start networking, especially if you've built something that's called relationship capital, which is you've actually done some favors for people, you've actually helped some people, then it comes time for you to connect to them later on and start capitalizing on that. So it's a form of insurance which you always needed before you actually need it. 
definitely a good backup, of course. It is. A, yes, it is. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for coming on today. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much. Delighted to be here. Well, that's it from the business desk. You can contact us at ib at city7tv.com. Up next, June Wrigley is back with the news about Bollywood star John Abraham's latest film, now showing in Dubai.